All right. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Hope everyone is doing well, doing fine, doing good. On the Sunday, last day of the month. Hope you are okay. If you are, then good. Very good. <coughs> so, today we are going to continue with the story on Honkai Impact 3rd. Last time... And we are already having connection errors. <laughs> having a bit of a lag now. Great. <coughs> Yeah, I started and I'm already getting lag, but it should be fine now. Oh well. <laughs> Things happen, I guess. <coughs> but yeah, uh, we are in the middle of chapter 9 in Honkai Impact 3rd, and we're going to continue from there and continue with the story in general. And yeah, that's the plan. Okay. So let me go already to the game screen. Let's not wait any longer. <coughs> okay. Let's stop the music. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. We got crystals today. Cool. Still no achievements there. Despite the notification saying otherwise, but oh well. Okay, let's do the material expedition thing. Sure. Okay. We do this. Sure. And you... We need to do this like this, because... You still need to get the ultimate <laughs> before the battle ends. So if I can do that... Yeah, I had it that that will happen. Yeah, I highly doubt it will happen. Yeah. I just cleared this out too fast. I guess I will need to bring a bit of a weaker team. To at least get the, <laughs> the ultimate skill. But well. Uh, the Armada stuff, sure. Let's get this done. Dorm, sure. Claim the stamina. Okay, the expeditions. Okay, next up, errands. Okay.
Okay. And that is all. Okay. Now we claim all of this. We level up. Sure. Claim these. Okay. <coughs> and it seems that we got something new on the supply. Ah, uh, yeah. You. And your weapon and set, I suppose. Okay. And summer outfits have returned. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Sure. So yeah, we are in the middle of chapter 9, so let's get to it. We are... Uh, five, eight, eight sections away. Everything is full of stars. That is good. Uh, don't get knocked down more than five times. Do at least two thousand damage within three seconds. Only Himeko. Let's go. An array of highly advanced mach machining robots cover the entire floor. These facilities are connected to each other to form a massive assembly line. A sudden alarm interrupted the two girls before they could figure things out. Elevator. Okay. Still not done. Okay. Easy. Tesla did not respond. She was immersed in the data displayed on the screen. Himeko found a quiet place to sit down. She could hear the familiar voice in her ears.
Tesla sang we out burst distracted Himeko. When she turned around, Fuha was already gone. Log DBOS 2014-007-0007-Redacted Okay. <clears throat> Log DBOS Okay. Next, log DBOS HV0001.
Hmm. All right. TBOS HB zero five three eight. Okay. No, this again. Not this again, come on. Come on. Okay. Hope he has disconnected. Great. <laughs> Okay, hold up. Making sure that everything is back in order. Uh, okay. Seems that everything is back in order. Hopefully. Uh, okay. Yeah. All good. Good. OBS disconnected. Again. Seems to happen at least once a day, uh, every day, apparently. But a while. Okay, this is now open. Okay, got it. Still not done though.
Hmm. Interesting. To the next. Tesla looked at Himeko. She wanted to say something, but failed to bring voice to those words. While she hesitated, Himeko decided to speak her mind. Himeko stretched out her right hand that tightly held the red color serum. HSN B46 was printed on the other end of the test tube. We could find samples of the holy blood in the labs, but we don't have the serum. If they could gather the materials and experimental records, Dr. Tesla might be able to ma might be able to make this pure destiny. But another noise interrupted them. Himeko stuffed the serum into Tesla's hands and turned around. Tesla looked on quietly as Himeko left. She could feel the warmth of her hands from the test tube in her hand. She could not lend voice to those words. She knew that those words wouldn't change anything. Okay. There we go. Tesla threw down a small mechanical device. Tesla put on her gloves and took out a syringe filled with a purple fluid. She then injected the syringe contents into her arm. She first injected a Honkai solution. Her skin quickly took on a deathly white pallor. Her skin capillaries gave off a discomforting red glow that slowly spread from her wrist along her arms. Tesla knew what's going on. She won the circumless number of times. This is the first sign of human zombification. But this is the first time she saw it happening to herself. She did her best. Tesla sure that she had no not made any mistakes. If the experimental data were true, then the fluid sample in her test tube would be the spear of destiny. But that wasn't enough. One more thing was needed to conclude the experiment. Any experiment would need this final step. Indeed, 
Tesla took another seven inch and took a sample of the other solution. Theories, no matter how perfect, are just scratches on a paper until put to the test. There were no volunteers. Tesla had no choice but to test them on herself. She injected the entire fluid sample into her thin arm. The capillaries did not change. Perhaps it would take a while for the reaction to take place. These few seconds was the most tortuous moments that Tesla ever experienced. It will be alright. Her theories are always right. She tried closing her eyes. She saw many visions in the darkness. She saw how the serum failed to work, along with the Honkai to corrupt her brain. She saw how the Honkai began rampaging, causing her arm to blossom into a mess of blood and sinew. How the Honkai failed to activate inside her, but could not be neutralized. She saw how she retained her consciousness while her body rotted and withered away. She saw how her body reacted to it strangely while her skin assumed white and pinkish hues, transcending the zombies and becoming a mighty Honkai beast. One of those visions even included herself being transformed into a pink homo. <laughs> she had closed her eyes long enough. Tesla prayed as she opened her eyes. She only saw a thin, frail arm belonging to a girl. There was nothing of note except for several blood vessels underneath her smooth and white skin. Tesla never thought her arm could be so beautiful. She collapsed to the ground like a puppet severed from its strings. She drew in a large corpse of her and fell as though a great burden has been lifted from her. She went her right arm excitedly like a girl who just received her birthday present. That's right, Mophead. I'm a true genius. Meanwhile, at the bottom floor of the lab, the flight of stairs cemented this. And then it ended abruptly. The light shone and illuminated the outlines of this chamber. It was a somber sight, like a holy shrine house in a relic. Let's see. Hell Knight Igneous. Maybe Piper Warrior, then I'll battle soon. Knight Extremis something. Original purpose. Assignment confiscated. Dark Knight Reaper. Knight uh, Moonbeam. Blood Knight Moonlight. Assignment Teresa Apocalypse. Where is Torad Faris Branch? Argent Knight Artemis. Assignment Classified. Uh, hold up. Sovereign, uh, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. Shadow Knight Eclipse. Family this was the last school squadron battle suit. Assignment classified. Where is our HQ? Target not found. We're just through all the labs. Target not found. And this. <coughs> Himeka pulled herself over the wreckage of the Acer mech and made her way to the end of the corridor. A bright red battlesuit was kept there.
lovely voice to sing. Yes, he looks good. Okay, that was a mix of voice there. <laughs> they mixed up the voice line. <laughs> Back to the bottles on extender her hand. Access request verified. Initiate mental wave verification. Verification complete. Privilege category Zeroth Order Group Confident. Request verified. Chamber seals open. Switch into subject engagement mode. Process complete. Energy reactor ignited. Power supply on. He may go enter the battle suit chamber. The light shone on her body. The world before her eyes slowly turned white. It felt like the first rays of dawn, sanely yet empty at the same time. Okay. To the next stage then. Stop here, you've done your best. Okay. Need to tend that a bit better. There we go. Okay. Almost there. Nice. The stage was the bane of your existence when it first came out. Really? Oh well. Oh, okay. Come on, keep hating. There we go. Jeez. Okay, that's it. You defeated your inner demons. 
Your human form is temporarily blessed with her shared powers. A mission with you has ended. I'm glad I can be of help at the 11th hour. Cool. New outfit. <clears throat> and on to the next stage. Okay, need to time this better. Okay. There we go. Okay. The massive machine became a pile of burning scrap. He make a blunt shared great sword into the ground and exhale with satisfaction. She can feel her heart pounding. Her body had never felt so light before. Her injuries no longer ailed her. A reservoir of power welled up within her, waiting to be unleashed. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got all of this. Nice. Now, three more quests and the rest is just cutscenes. Uh, okay, it doesn't damage, no death, don't get knocked down. And we go with... Boronia. Okay. We go with Boronia. Airspace above the southern outer space passageway Helheim Honkai Energy System Labs. Hmm. Hmm. 
nice. There we go. There we go. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> the thunderous ring of metal on metal was deafening. Bronia's vision began to swirl. Powerful inertial forces violently tossed her body about like a ragdoll. Her vision slowly returned. She can see light pierce in the darkness. Bronia's vision started getting brighter. Then she saw her. The fire continued to burn. Okay. Cool. Next. Next stage. <laughs> 